Exodus chapters 38 through 40. And Besaleel made the ark and overlaid it with pure gold within and without. And he cast for it four golden rings, two on one side and two on the other, wide enough for the staves, so that men should bear the ark with them. And he made the propitiatory over the ark of pure gold, the two cherubs of gold, one cherub on the one end of the propitiatory, another cherub on the other end of the propitiatory, overshadowing the propitiatory with their wings. And he made the set table of pure gold, and cast for it four rings, two on the one side and two on the other side broad, so that the men should lift it with the staves in them. And he made the staves of the ark and of the table, and gilded them with gold. And he made the furniture of the table, both the dishes and the censers and the cups, and the bowls with which he should offer drink offerings, of gold. And he made the candlestick which gives light, of gold, the stem solid, and the branches from both its sides, and blossoms proceeding from its branches, three on this side and three on the other, made equal to each other. And as to their lamps, which are on the ends, knobs proceeded from them, and sockets proceeding from them, the lamps might be upon them, and the seventh socket, on top of the candlestick, on the summit above, entirely of solid gold. And on the candlestick seven golden lamps, and its snuffers gold, and its funnels gold. He overlaid the post with silver, and cast for each post golden rings, and gilded the bars with gold. And he gilded the posts of the veil with gold, and made the hooks of gold. He also made the rings of the tabernacle of gold, and the rings of the court, and the rings for drawing out the veil above the brass. He cast the silver chapters of the tabernacle, the brazen chapters of the door of the tabernacle, and the gate of the court. And he made silver hooks for the posts. He overlaid them with silver on the posts. He made the pins of the tabernacle and the pins of the court of brass. And he made the brazen altar of the brazen censers, which belonged to the men engaged in sedition with the gathering of Cori. He made all the vessels of the altar and its grate and its base and its bowls and brazen flesh hooks. He made an appendage for the altar of network under the grate, beneath it as far as the middle of it, and he fastened it to four brazen rings on the four parts of the appendage of the altar, wide enough for the bars so as to bear the altar with them. He made the holy anointing oil and the composition of incense, the pure work of the perfumer. He made the brazen labor and the brazen base of it of the mirrors of the women that fasted, who fasted by the doors of the tabernacle of witness in the day in which he set it up. And he made the labor, that Aaron, Moses, and Aaron and his sons might wash their hands and their feet when they went into the tabernacle of witness, or whensoever they should advance to the altar to do service. They washed in it, as the Lord commanded Moses. All the gold that was employed for the works, according to all the fabrication of the holy things, was of the gold of the offerings, twenty-nine talents, and seven hundred and twenty shekels, according to the holy shekel. And the offering of silver from the men that were numbered of the congregation a hundred talents, and a thousand seven hundred and seventy-five shekels, one drachma apiece, even the half shekel, according to the holy shekel. Everyone that passed the survey from twenty years old and upwards to the number of six hundred thousand, and three thousand five hundred and fifty. And the hundred talents of silver went to the casting of the hundred chapters of the tabernacle, and to the chapters of the veil, a hundred chapters to the hundred talents, a talent to a chapter. And the thousand seven hundred and seventy five shekels he formed into hooks for the pillars, and he gilt their chapters and adorned them. And the brass of the offering was seventy talents, and a thousand five hundred shekels, and they made it of the bases of the door of the tabernacle of witness, and the bases of the court round about, and the bases of the gate of the court, and the pins of the tabernacle, and the pins of the court round about, and the brazen appendage of the altar, and all the vessels of the altar, and all the instruments of the tabernacle of witness. And the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. And of the gold that remained of the offering, they made vessels to minister with before the Lord. And the blue that was left, and the purple, and the scarlet, they made into garments of ministry for Aaron, so that he should minister with them in the sanctuary. And they brought the garments to Moses, and the tabernacle, and its furniture, its bases, and its bars, and the posts, and the Ark of the Covenant, and its bearers, and the altar, and all its furniture. And they made the anointing oil, and the incense of composition, and the pure candlestick, and its lamps, lamps for burning, and oil for the light, and the table of the showbread, and all his furniture, and all the showbread upon it. And the garments of the sanctuary which belonged to Aaron, and the garments of his sons, for their priestly ministry. And the curtains of the court, and the posts, and the veil of the door of the tabernacle, and the gate of the court. And all the vessels of the tabernacle, and all its instruments, 
and the skins, even Ramses' skins dyed red, and the blue coverings, and the coverings of the other things, and the pins, and all the instruments for the works of the tabernacle of witness. Whatsoever things the Lord appointed Moses, so did the children of Israel make all their furniture. And Moses saw all the works, and they had done them all as the Lord commanded Moses, so they had made them. And Moses blessed them. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, On the first day of the first month, at the new moon, thou shalt set up the tabernacle of witness, and thou shalt place in it the ark of the testimony, and shalt cover the ark with the veil. And thou shalt bring in the table, and shalt set forth that which is to be set forth on it. And thou shalt bring in the candlestick, and place its lamps on it. And thou shalt place the golden altar to burn incense before the ark. And thou shalt put a covering of veil on the door of the tabernacle of witness. And thou shalt put the altar of burnt offerings by the doors of the tabernacle of witness. And thou shalt set up the tabernacle round about, and thou shalt hollow all that belongs to it round about. And thou shalt take the anointing oil, and shalt anoint the tabernacle, and all things in it, and shalt sanctify it, and all its furniture, and it shall be holy. And thou shalt anoint the altar of burnt offerings, and all its furniture. And thou shalt hallow the altar, and the altar shall be most holy. And thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons to the doors of the tabernacle of witness, and thou shalt wash them with water. And thou shalt put on Aaron the holy garments, and thou shalt anoint him, and thou shalt sanctify him, and he shall minister to me as priest. And thou shalt bring up his sons, and shalt put garments on them. And thou shalt anoint them as thou didst anoint their father, and they shall minister to me as priests. And it shall be that they shall have an everlasting anointing of priesthood throughout their generations. And Moses did all things whatsoever the Lord commanded him, so did he. And it came to pass in the first month, in the second year after their going forth out of Egypt, at the new moon, that the tabernacle was set up. And Moses set up the tabernacle, and put on the chapiters, and put the bars into their places, and set up the posts. And he stretched out the curtains over the tabernacle, and put the veil of the tabernacle on it above as the Lord commanded Moses. And he took the testimonies and put them into the ark, and he put the stays by the side of the ark. And he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and put on it the covering of the veil, and covered the ark of the testimony, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the table in the tabernacle of witness, on the north side without the veil of the tabernacle. And he put on it the showbread before the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the candlestick into the tabernacle of witness, on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. And he put on it its lamps before the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the golden altar in the tabernacle of witness before the veil, and he burnt on it the incense of composition, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the altar of the burnt offerings by the doors of the tabernacle, and he set the court round about the tabernacle and the altar, and Moses accomplished all the works. And the cloud covered the tabernacle of witness, and the tabernacle was filled with the glory of the Lord. And Moses was not able to enter into the tabernacle of testimony, because the cloud overshadowed it, and the tabernacle was filled with the glory of the Lord. And when the cloud went up from the tabernacle, the children of Israel prepared to depart with their baggage. And if the cloud went not up, they did not prepare to depart till the day when the cloud went up. For a cloud was on the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, before all Israel in all their journeyings. Psalm 32, 33 in Hebrew, verses 1 through 12. A Psalm of David. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous. Praise becomes the upright. Praise the Lord on the harp. Play to him on a psaltery of ten strings. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are faithful. He loves mercy and judgment. The earth is full of the mercy of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were established, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Who gathers the waters of the sea as in a bottle? Who lays up the deeps in treasuries? Let all the earth fear the Lord, and let all that dwell in the world be moved because of him. For he spoke, and they were made. He commanded, and they were created. The Lord frustrates the counsels of the nations. He brings to not also the reasonings of the peoples, and brings to not the counsels of princes. But the counsel of the Lord endures forever, the thoughts of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 through 21. For he rejoices in all things which God hates, and he is ruined by reason of impurity of soul. The eye of the haughty, a tongue unjust, hands shedding the blood of the just, and a heart devising evil thoughts, and feet hastening to do evil, are hateful to God. An unjust witness kindles falsehoods, and brings on quarrels between brethren. My son, keep the laws of thy father, and reject not the ordinances of thy mother, but bind them upon thy soul continually, and hang them as a chain about thy neck. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. 
chapter 21, verses 1 through 22. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethphage, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a colt with her. Loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught to you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Sion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek, and sitting upon an ass, and a colt, the full of an ass. And the disciples went, and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they sent him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way, others cut down branches from the trees, and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before, and that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth, of Galilee. And Jesus went into the temple of God, and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. And said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yea, have ye never read? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? And he left them, and went out to the city into Bethany, and lodged there. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it, and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also, if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive.